Let's talk about changing the shape of your dreams. Most people have small dreams. They have dreams that they think that they could handle. And they're quite small. They're not wishing too much. And, or they have exaggerated dreams uh, as a way to give themselves an excuse that they'll never meet that dream. I've seen both. You need to have the courage to change your dream. You need to change the shape. You need to enlarge in your dream. And you can do that. But perhaps you need to change the directions of your dream. Early on, I put out a newspaper that was called Positive Christianity. I rented the presses at a small town newspaper, and we put it out. We printed hundreds of thousands of these, gave them free to churches. People could pick them up. They weren't dated, which was one of the smartest things that I did, or God guided me to do. Because funny thing about dated things, the minute the date expires, people think that the lesson isn't any good for them anymore, that it's of no worth, that it has to be new and fresh. Well, the lessons from the Bible are not new and fresh until they become fresh in you. And the lessons that are the truth, they don't change over time. A man or a woman can fall into a ditch and they'll often pray for God to come with a huge crane to pull them out. The funny thing that I've seen in ministry is anyone can find happiness in their ditch, no matter how bad it is. Kind of like the eagle, the story of the eagle living in the chicken coop. The eagle, over time, begins to believe that he's a chicken. And he pecks around at the ground and he never realizes, never even hopes for, soaring above in the open area above the chicken coop where he could escape in a minute. Another thing that I've noticed is people prefer a known hell over an unknown heaven. Don't you be this way. Decide that you are going to do the most you can with your life. It all begins in your soul. The common goldfish, if kept in a small bowl, will remain very, very small. But with more space, that same fish will grow double in size, triple in size, or quadruple in size. The reason for the growth is this. We are intended for larger things. The lobster at the bottom of the ocean. The lobster cannot grow past the size of its shell and therefore it becomes a prison. The only way that the lobster can grow is to shed the shell. This is a brave thing to do because underneath there is only a thin pink membrane skin, kind of like tissue paper, and then it grows a new shell and becomes a bigger, sometimes double, size lobster. What I've noticed is a giant human in their soul cannot have an ordinary life. Are you a big fish living in a small pond? Well, take a plant, for instance. Put a plant in a very, very small pot, it will remain small. Put it in a larger pot, and it begins to grow bigger and even a larger pot, and you've got a garden 
on your hands. I was on a private boat in South America about a month ago. And my wife wanted to take a picture of an iceberg. And I said, that's not a very impressive iceberg. It's so small. There are other bigger ones coming. And the captain came over and said, well, that's not true. You only see 10% of what the iceberg is. The other 90% is below the water. Well, my friend, it is the same with you. You have greatness that is undiscovered, that can't be even seen in the mirror. And not only do you have 90% that's hidden, but you have a lot more spiritually. You have God. And when the God power in fills your soul, you can do astonishing things with your life. It takes courage to change the shape of our dreams. It becomes an act of courage when you decide to grow bigger in your soul. It doesn't necessarily mean that you'll have a bigger body. Some of the greatest people that I have ever known in my lifetime have been less than five feet. But wow, they would walk into a room and everyone would just stop. They would know that they were in the presence of greatness. I pray with you that you have courage. I pray with you that you have the God-given ability to change the shape of your dreams. I pray that you have the God-given ability to stick with it, to not give up. And if one direction's not working, like my idea for a newspaper column didn't work, well, I tell you, there's another way. There's always another way. There's always a plan B. And what I've noticed in my lifetime is the different dream, the larger dream, is always something that has a bigger pot that you can grow into. I pray that God blesses you in this way. I pray that you realize that you have the power, that you have the connection, and that it will be with you forever because that is God's gift to you.